I honestly don't care if I look like crap. But I've been sitting here thinking, you know, I'm sorry, the either the camera died or it got too full of space for me not uploading videos. But I keep thinking back to song lyrics, you know, how to save a life. You know, the truth is, I was a person. I am a person. And then slowly, one after another, someone came into my life and then killed me over and over again, you know? So please tell me, how can you save my life when I am I'm heartbroken and dead inside and... And then, you know, I think to another lyric, everything was wasted on you. I just, everything just ends up wasted. And that's how I feel with everything. You know, I took a leap and I ended up regretting it in the end. And then, you know, so, you know, when you lose someone, you go crazy, like literally. Or when you're facing losing someone, you go crazy. And you're like, no, this isn't happening. You know, I did the same thing with my grandma. As she was, you know, I saw, I saw something no 16, 17 year old should ever see. Is, this, is her grandmother dealing with Alzheimer's? But I did. And, you know, I felt alone. And I felt like, I don't know, I felt numb. You know, the whole year I felt numb, nothing but numb. And as I sat there as she died, you know, like before it happened, you know, I, I was like, this can't be happening. But, you know, she's free now, you know. I would have given anything to have ended her suffering because... She didn't know who she was. She didn't know who I was. She didn't know who any of us were. That's something no one should ever have to go through. But I did. Hers was the first death that I ever witnessed. And when you lose someone, you go crazy. When I lost Sergeant, I didn't go crazy. I was so numb. All, all I could do was cry. I kept listening to Dreaming with a Broken Heart by John Meyer over and over and over again and crying and crying and crying and crying and like, you know, this, this has to be a dream, like this can't be real, but it is, you know? And so as we adjust slowly to our new lives, you know, everything feels so suffocating and you feel suffocated, but then slowly time goes on and you slowly get better. One after another, everyone I've lost, I felt that all my cats with Randolph with and Randolph was like an uncle to me and I loved him to death you know one after another <laughs> except I didn't lose Caleb he's alive he's states away and he's alive but I feel like I lost him and I feel like I'm going crazy and then I keep thinking back to that song everything that I spent on you would end up wasted and then I go back to thinking how to save a life. So how can you save mine? I've been dead for years. Literally, I've been... Like a month or two after Sergeant died, I was... My mind was in a fog. I don't remember anything. All I've been doing ever since then is surviving. I'm tired of surviving. I'm not living. I am surviving one after another. It came to the mission of giving my babies everything they needed, and I did that. I did that. And then now they're gone. You know? And, and I don't know if it's just, you know, <laughs> you really picked a sucky time to break up with me. But, you know, I would have wanted the truth weeks ago of how he was feeling. But, you know, I really loved him. And, and I also really loved Austin. And look how look what that did we we were gonna get married and then he did what he did all I've got is games to keep me entertained and my miniatures and you know 
I was trying to play with my family and I'm numb and all I want to do is stay in bed. That's all I want to do. And back to what I was saying, I keep staring at these earrings. And they remind me of him. They remind me of Caleb. And you know... <sighs> these earrings. I don't know if you can see them, but they're mermaids. I, uh, back when I had money, like, a month or two ago, I don't remember, I placed a bid on them back when I was, like, wanting some earrings, and I forgot about it, completely forgot about it, got back on eBay, because I was like, I want to start selling, and then I was like, oh shoot, there's this $3 item that I forgot to pay for, and then now I've got a, like, almost $7 fine, and I'm like, why do I have a $7 fine, and I went crazy, and I'm like, why do I have a $7 fine, which I still don't know, but we paid it anyway, thanks to my brother. So then, <laughs> I think yesterday, the earrings come in, and Chris was, hands me this envelope, and I'm like, I didn't order anything. I'm like, are they sure they got the right house? And I open it, and it's the earrings. <laughs> I forgot about the earrings again. So how is it that I can forget about a pair of earrings, but I can't forget about the heartbreak and everything that I've gone through? I'm going to let you know. I'm doing better. Everything's starting to sink in and dissipate, as it always does. I'm still heartbroken, still sad, but I know I'm going to get through it. Today I'm not sleepy, so I'm not going back to bed like I've been doing the last couple of days, maybe even a week. The last two nights I've had really bad headaches to the point where I was like tossing and turning and my head hurt so bad. And Tylenol didn't help and Tylenol doesn't help, but you know, I take it anyway because, you know, I have to try. And, and there's these pills that my doctor gave me that are supposed to help with the damn headaches and they don't. <coughs> tension headaches, so they say. So, um, let me just smash up my music as loud as I can, and I'm going to do videos, um, so that I can get these boxes out of the middle of the room, so I can get everything, like, set up and, like, have a box down here that's just full of food and dishes and things that I would use, like, you know, like, things that I can't really store up here, right? Like, cups and stuff. So, I'm going to continue to distract myself like I've been doing since 2015. And sometimes I wish that I was really dead. And then I start to think that I'm selfish because there are people that are actually dying who want to live. And see, that's where I feel selfish at. I could give someone my organs, people who actually want to live. I literally I was kidding myself when I said I was okay, but that's because I was happy. That's because I was with Caleb. I was happy. And everything seemed to just fall into place and then and then he dumped me and now Everything just ended up wasted, all of the times I talked to him. And now I really feel like I'm really done with love. I'm done. I'm going to end up lonely. I will never have my happily ever after, because happily ever after doesn't exist. Besides, <clears throat> no one wants to date me or marry me. I'm a ticking time bomb. I've had kidney disease. I've got a I've got bipolar. I'm severely depressed. I've got really bad anxiety. I don't want to go out of the house. I just want to stay in my bed. I just want to stay in the house. I don't want to go to the store. I'm no good to anybody. I don't even know why I continue to do these videos. Maybe it's because, you know, I, I my goal was to always do blogs and advocate for spider bifida and everything that I deal with. I 
thought that, you know, everything was falling into place. And now I, I just, I, I, I have my phone on Do Not Disturb, and I, I, I don't want to talk to anyone, so I don't go on Messenger or Instagram, or, you know, I just go on to do posts and stuff, and I don't want anyone to think that I'm ignoring them, I just, I can't do this right now, you know, like, I'm saying no, and I feel suffocated, because no one is accepting my decision, and it's my decision, it's my life. You wouldn't do this to a cancer patient, right? You would understand, right? Like, I know I don't have cancer, but you know, I've had this for 26 years since I was born. And it's my life, so I'm gonna do what I want with it. And I'm still gonna advocate, I'm still gonna be here, I'm still gonna fight, because that's what I do. Even if I don't want to fight, I have to fight for Carter and my brother and my sister-in-law. And I fight because one of my best friends is really sick and she actually has cancer and she'd probably give anything to be in my shoes and not to be in her own. And because my best friend Margaret I don't want to go on, but I have to. So, there's my final decision. I'll get through this. When little one died, I didn't get out of bed. For, I don't know how long. Like, I, I got out to eat, and go to the bathroom, but then I was back in bed. It's just like that all over again. And again, I can't forget Safira. She's like super attached to me, and I attached to her, and I love her to death. But I'm just, you know, I, I'm cursing at the sky because I was gonna give up after a little when I was done. And then she showed up. Little one was adorable. He was only four when he died. And the crazy thing is, I just think he died from a broken heart. In case you guys don't know, Smudge died in the summer of 21. Lilith died in the summer of 22. And I think he was just alone, and I couldn't live there because I couldn't deal with my brother James and my dad because of their verbal abuse and the way they are and their drinking. And I had to leave my babies behind. The things that that I loved the most, I left them behind because I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. brother Chris told me that little one was laying around and acting all weird and I was like oh my word he's gonna die and Marissa was like I'm sure you know he, I, 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 I want to go over there and be with little one because I because I knew in my heart he was going but Chris Chris said that said he was too tired and he said he would take me in the morning and I was up all night praying I didn't want to go to sleep and then I fell asleep I don't know what time I fell asleep but then I was deep woke up at 5 a.m. told me that he and my brother James had found the one dead and I, I should have been there <laughs> I 
can't believe it's been a year. A year since Lola died, and a year since Little One died. And I believe in heaven and all. And I believe that I'll see them again, but it just it still sucks. It still hurts. Little One was a spotty daddy. He was beautiful and handsome, and me and him played tag. <laughs> so the way the tag would work is <laughs> either I would start or he would start. Um, he would run and tag my feet, and then I'd and then he would run off, and I'd run after him, and I would tag him with my hands, and then I would run back off, and he would tag me on my ankles. I never had a cat do that before, never. And then he slept on my head. So I started having a pillow over my head for him and he slept on it. And Sophia does the same thing and I can't help but think that God and little one sent her to me. And as much as I want to give up, I can't. As heartbroken as I am and as broken as I am right now, I'll probably look back on this day, maybe a year ago, and I'll be fine. But I, I really feel like, <clears throat> I feel like I'm not inspiring, like I'm not important. But everything just takes time. So, maybe little one's death anniversary is just the reason why I'm feeling so rough right now, maybe I mean, Caleb too with the breakup, but I'll get over it I'll get past it and I'll be stronger for it so I'm gonna dry these tears up and I'm gonna get back to doing my miniatures if my phone will hold on to it because it doesn't have a lot of storage and it is really hot outside <sighs> really hot I don't know how hot because I uh, deleted the weather app because I was like you know it doesn't matter how hot it is outside if my body says it's hot it's hot if my body says it's cold it's cold so it doesn't matter what degrees it is you know so anywho I hope <clears throat> that I inspire you, and if I do, please comment so I feel less like I don't make a difference in this world, because, you know, I want to make a difference. I've done some pretty crappy things. I've been in a bad place, and thank you for all of your lovely messages and comments. And I promise you, I'm okay. Just need to get out of this funk. And maybe I'm officially out of this funk because I, I haven't really felt like being in my bed all day. So, um, even though it's like almost four, I'm going to try to do some miniature videos. And yeah. okay. See you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I mean, you don't have to. I, I don't like saying that because, you know, it's just not me. You know, if you're, you're either going to like the video or you're not. You're either going to subscribe to my channel or you're not. <laughs>